Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. It's Brian here, welcome back to my channel. So today, I have a very interesting question to ask of you. Would you like to have the power to create amazing professional mock-ups for your designs that can help take your business to a new level? Would you like to have the facility to be able to create mock-ups on any device that you use, be it mobile, tablet, or desktop, without any experience required? Well, today I'm going to share with you an amazing platform I recently discovered and have been using for a number of weeks now to help you create amazing professional quality mock-ups that you can do anywhere effectively that you want, whether you're out and about on your mobile device or sitting in your home office at your desktop computer. It's super simple to do, it has amazing potential, and can really take your mock-up generating skills to a whole new level. This is definitely an episode you don't want to miss. Stay tuned. Now before we move on with today's episode, the fact that you're here clearly indicates that you're interested in all things pertaining to print on demand and that you're looking to take your print on demand business to a whole new height. Well, I'm glad that you're here. If you're new, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to click the bell notification icon so that you'll be informed each and every time that I upload a new video to my channel. I upload episodes every Wednesday and Saturday. And as always, it's all bent on one thing to help you take your business to a whole new level, to reach higher levels of success, and to make those sales that everyone strives to achieve in this business model. So with that said, let's hop over to my computer so that I can show you how to use this amazing versatile platform. Hi everybody, and welcome to my computer screen. And the website that we're going to be talking about today in order to help us create stunning mockups is called smartmockups.com and I'll leave a link to the website in the description below. Basically, this platform offers over 8,000 plus digital print and apparel scenes for all projects and tasks, and they're adding more each and every week. So it's a growing library that you can utilize to create some brilliant, wonderfully designed mock-ups for your social media accounts, for basically whatever that you need to have mock-ups for. So it's a really versatile program, which we're gonna go through. And basically there are two types of mock-ups in each category. You're gonna find your professional photos, simply as we can see over here, uh, with a static background, or else you're gonna have these isolated mock-ups with a transparent background, which can be customized. And this is the exciting part of this particular platform because the kind of backgrounds and the customization that you can put through with respect to these isolated mockups, well, basically it's only your creativity that can hold you back. So let's take a look at what this website has to offer. Okay, so at the top over here, you've got your different categories, all mockups, custom, technology, print, packaging, apparel, home and living, and social media. And obviously, underneath each heading, you're gonna find your subcategories. And for this particular episode, this is the one that we're going to be concerning ourselves with. And as you can see here, the types of mock-ups that they have to offer pertain to t-shirts, hoodies, sportswear, face masks, sweatshirts, tank tops, toddlers, and even accessories. So we're really spoiled for choice in terms of what kind of mock-up set we can create. So let's take a look at t-shirts here. So basically, at the get-go, this website offers 731 t-shirt markups which are free to customize. They have a free section and they also have a paid section which we'll get into later on in this episode. But let's just take a look at what we have on offer here. So basically you've got men's t-shirts, women's t-shirts, kids t-shirts and a number of other categories that you can choose from. So let's assume for a moment that we want to choose something um, we're going to create a women's t-shirt mock-up. So we're going to click on women's t-shirts. Here we are in the women's t-shirt mock-up section. And basically we can select either all, free, or premium. And then we can either select either all, photo, or isolated. So let's say we want to choose all of the mock-ups which are free and that are photo-based. So let's tackle this particular category first, okay? So let's assume for a moment we want to choose this young lady over here. We're gonna click on her mock-up and it's going to come up. All right, so the first thing that we wanna do is we want to upload our design. And to do that, we just click on the upload from. 
Okay, and you're given three choices. You can either upload from a Dropbox account or from Canva, which is absolutely brilliant, and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later on too as well. Or you can actually upload the image from your hard drive. So let's click on Upload Image. And for those of you who watched my last episode will be aware of this particular design. You look fabulous. So we're going to use that one. We're just going to click on it, click Open, and wait for the platform to upload the design. Okay, so here we have the design here on the mock-up, but we need to customize it. We need to fix it up a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose the pencil icon here. And obviously we're brought up with this tool that you can see here. And what we're going to do is grab the slider and we're just going to shrink it down a little bit. And then basically you can grab it and move it anywhere within the print area that you would like. And obviously you have um, the preview here on the right hand side so that you can get a better idea of where the design is going to appear. So we're just going to shrink it down a little bit and we're going to bring it up. And then you can obviously check the alignment so you can just click on it and it will move accordingly. Okay, so we've got a lot of functionality here and you can even rotate it if you want to and it rotates it every 45 degrees. Okay, and if you want to, you can flip it, but obviously it's not needed in this particular instance. So we're just gonna put it, I'm gonna eyeball it a little bit down here just to basically go across the chest area and then we're gonna click crop and continue. Okay. So given the fact that this design was created with the intention of having a white background, it actually looks good on this t-shirt. But if we want to customize the scene, we can just click on it. And we can actually choose whether we want the shirt to be pure white or if we want it to be heathered. So we can just click on that in terms of the fabric. Okay, and if you did want to choose the t-shirt color, you just click on choose over here and you have two options. You can either choose from the presets so let's say we want it on black, which obviously looks good as well, or any of the other colors that they have to offer. Or if you want to be a little bit more specific, you could click on custom, you're given the color picker, and if you wanted to, you could put in the hex code accordingly. So if we wanted a bright red, um, F60606, and we've got a bright red background t-shirt. Okay, and then obviously if we're happy with it, we just click outside and it remains red. But for this particular mock-up, I want the color of the t-shirt to be white, so we're just gonna click on choose again and we'll just choose white from the preset and there we have it. And then all you have to do basically is just download and you can choose whether you want the image quality to be medium, high or super high. Let's go with high. And we wait for a few moments and obviously, as you can see down here at the bottom, the mock-up has downloaded. All right, we just choose on open. You can see that we've got a fantastic looking mock-up that we can utilize. And then if you wanted to crop it down for Pinterest or for Instagram or for any other of your social media accounts, you can do so accordingly um, once you have the photo in hand. All right, so we're just gonna close that up and we're gonna go back. So we're gonna go back to t-shirts. Now, what if we wanted to choose just a garment only, so without you know any kind of pictures? So we're gonna choose men's t-shirts. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on free and we're gonna choose isolated, okay? And then here we have a lovely selection of different isolated garments, including mock-ups of models that you can utilize too as well. So let's say we want to go with this guy here. We're gonna click on it. And we're going to keep to the Halloween theme, so we're going to choose Upload from Upload Image. We'll choose the same design again. Okay, and as we did with the previous mock-up, we need to shrink it down a little bit, so we'll choose the pencil icon. We're going to shrink it down a little bit, we'll wait for the preview to show up. There it is, and we're going to move it to an area of the shirt that we're going to be happy with. Okay, so it takes a bit of eyeballing if you don't want to use the alignment tools that they have over here. But I think that looks pretty good. So we're going to crop and continue. And then we're going to customize the scene. Customize the t-shirt color. This time I want it in black, which looks pretty good there too as well. So whenever we're working with an isolated mock-up, we're given this option here, as you can see, where we can actually change the background. So if you wanted to include an interesting background, Smart Mockups gives you the option to do so as well. Now, we have two options. We can either choose a color. So again, we have the preset colors. And if you wanted to choose something popping behind him, we just choose the different colors. 
and just think of the possibilities that you could create in terms of social media mock-ups just with different colored backgrounds of the same mock-up that's really going to pop and grab people's attentions particularly on platforms like Pinterest. I'm, you know, Many of you who've been following me know that I'm a huge advocate for Pinterest because it is the third biggest search engine on the planet. It's a visual search engine and with over 450 million monthly users on Pinterest, it's a fantastic place to market your designs via these creative mockups that you can create on smart mockups just to get people's attention, add a little bit of text, and add your link to your Redbubble, TeePublic, or whatever POD shop that you like to use so that people can visit your shop and actually obviously buy it. Now, that's selecting a color background. What if you wanted to include an interesting scene? Well, you can do that too as well. So as you can see here, this icon here, this is the scene icon. And basically you can either upload a scene from your computer or you can use any of the free high resolution photos that Unsplash has to offer. So let's click on Unsplash. And basically now we're given a preset of different photos that we could consider. But given the fact that it's a Halloween design, what if I had to type in Halloween? just to see what comes up. And as you can see, we've got a lot of great pictures pertaining to Halloween that come up. And this one really caught my attention, this sort of like creepy foggy forest. So let's put that one behind it. We'll wait for it to upload. Okay, and we're happy with that. We're gonna click continue. And then if we wanna take it one step further, we can actually put a color overlay simply by clicking on this icon. And let's say, for example, I wanted to make a blood curdling red overlay. So we're gonna click on the red, okay? And as you can see, you've got this deep red with the spooky forest in the background. You can obviously customize the colors too as well if you want. Again, there's a lot of versatility here. And if we wanna bring down the scene a little bit, so we wanna make it look like he's standing on a road in the middle of nowhere, we can do so. We can actually blur the background even more so that we can make the mock-up stand out even more. And obviously we can decrease the saturation of the background, but given the fact that it's gray, it's not gonna be as effective. Okay, so once we're happy with it, just click on save. So you've got this great looking mock-up that you can use for your social media accounts, for your marketing, for whatever you want to use it for in order to get people to know about your designs. And then obviously when you're finished with it, you can just click download, choose your resolution, I'll choose high, wait a few moments and boom, down at the bottom here, your design has been downloaded, you click on open, and you've got this fantastic looking mock-up, again, which you can crop accordingly for your various uh, social media accounts as well. So we'll just close this page over here. Now, let's assume for a moment you're working on Canva. Well, Canva and Smart Mock-ups have partnered together, and what I did was I went ahead and created a Halloween design on Canva. Okay, I used some of the free graphics here, Happy Halloween, I just searched for pumpkin in the elements section, grabbed it, dragged it on, and added Happy Halloween in form of the text, and just gave it a, a little bit of a basic curve, and I'm happy with that. So now, if I want to actually integrate this design into Smart Mockups, well, all I have to do is just click on the icon here at the top right, the three dots, and then just scrolling down until you see Smart Mockups. Okay, all right, there it is. We'll click on it. Then we'll just click on save. It prepares the design. Okay, and it says your design has been saved and you can either continue editing, go to the home page, or you can actually click view and smart mockups, which we're going to do now. Obviously you need to be logged in beforehand. And when it opens up to the home page of smart mockups, voila, you're seeing your design on all the various types of mockups that this platform has to offer, be it mugs, desktop mockups, t-shirts, what have you. Okay, so let's say we want to take a look at the t-shirts and modify it accordingly. All right, so we just clicked on t-shirts, we'll wait for it to queue up, and let's say, for example, we want it to have an isolated mockup, so we're gonna choose free, we're gonna choose isolated, okay, and let's say we want to go with this one here. Right, and again, it's as simple as we did with the other one. We wait for the design to be loaded up onto the image. There it is. We're going to click on the 
image preview so that we can move the design accordingly to where we want it to appear on the shirt. Okay, I'm just a little too high. Bring it down a little bit. Okay, I'm happy with that. Crop and continue. Okay, but for this instance, we're going to keep the t-shirt um, as a white one. Okay, and now we're going to just customize the background. Again, we can choose a color to make it pop. But in this particular case, given the fact that the t-shirt is white, with a colored background, it really looks flat. So let's choose a nice background from Unsplash. Okay, and again, we're going to use Halloween. And this time we'll choose something maybe perhaps that isn't so scary and spooky as we did with the other one. Okay, but how about this nice black cat here with this orange background? Let's see how that looks. Okay, and we can continue. And if we want to, we can actually zoom in. And let's just say, for example, we just want a bit of a blurred gradient background. Or if you want to move it down to the black area, you could do so. Again, you're only limited to your creativity. All right, so if you don't like this photo, just click cancel and choose another one. So we're gonna click on this, we're gonna choose Unsplash. Okay, type in Halloween again. I mean, you can literally get lost in this platform. Just so much that you can do, so much creativity here. It's, you're basically spoiled for choice. Okay, so let's choose this one here with this sort of like orangey cloud. Okay, with the, the full moon in the background. Okay, so let's say we're happy with that. We're just gonna click continue. And what we can do is we can bring this up a little bit more or down. You can even zoom in if you want to, too, as well. So let's say, for example, we wanted to zoom in and we want to bring the moon maybe just off the cuff over here like that. Okay, and we want to blur the background a little bit. So just take the blur tool and increase the blur so that we make the mock-up pop. And then once we're happy, we just click on save and we'll wait for it to obviously come up on screen and then you can download accordingly. So we're gonna choose high as the resolution and wait for it to download. Click on open to see what it looks like. And we've got a real fantastic mock-up that we can use. One other thing that you want to keep in mind of is that some of the mock-ups will allow you to be able to um, modify a neck label if you wanted to. In this particular case, it put in the design, we don't want that, so we're just gonna click the delete. We just deleted it, okay? And we can download it again, and this time we'll choose high for the resolution, and then we click on open, and there you have it. You've got a nice clean t-shirt mock-up, no pictures in the neckline, and we're good to go with using it for whatever it is that we need. Well, there you have it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I really want to encourage you to have a look at this particular platform. The mock-up generator is free to use, and when you actually visit the website, you're given a seven-day free trial where you can actually have access to everything that the website has to offer, albeit when you do download things, particularly in the premium section, they are downloaded with a small watermark. But if you do decide, to take the plan, that watermark will disappear. You can use the wonderful aspects that this particular platform has to offer. Now, I've provided a link to the platform in down below. Full disclosure, it is an affiliate link, so if you do take a subscription, you will be helping this channel with the kickback that the platform offers to affiliates. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Basically, the price that you see is the price that you'll pay, but you will be helping this channel to continue providing great tips motivation, and tools that can help you take your print-on-demand business, again, as always stated, to a new level. But for today, that's all I have. And as always, be safe, be well, be creative. Bye for now.